I'm angry sometimes My heart's on the line These problems are mine to hold Sunday, it's like fucking 80 degrees, and we're on our way to uh, ba -ba -ba, Okatama, Okatama, Japan. And what basically that is, is pretty much like into the mountains of Japan. So, one of my friends who's ridden here before, he's been here longer than me, he's like, Yo, there's a fucking uh, some waterfalls, and there's like a river, and there's some like abandoned ruins and caves and shit we can go through. You want to go there? And I was like, Fuck it, man, it's an hour away, so let's fucking go. So, I'm headed there right fucking now, and I've never been over to this part. But it's the usual, these little cramped ass fucking little houses that they like to live in. But I can't wait to get into the mountains, take some twisties, some turns and shit. But it's been nice, my jacket's unzipped a little bit just to get some air in there. But I am wearing armor today, you know, because I'm going into the mountains. And I really have to poop right now, but it's going to have to wait till later when I get back to base. This is what I'm going to start doing more of too, is like riding into mountains like this with people. Like I'm going to start getting some group rides together. I'm trying to get some of my friends to get the Senna headsets that I have so we can communicate and not get lost. Because he's the one who has the coordinates of the place, but I put them in my GPS because he doesn't have a ram mount or a center headset. We were going to go to the Regal Land motorcycle store and get one, but we figured, fuck it, let's just go right now. Hopefully the weather holds out on us because it looks like fucking God's about to pee all over me. But it's really nice to see some forests and some trees and mountains over here. I don't know what this place is like. Hopefully we go into the mountains a little bit. And like I said, there's some caves some waterfalls and some abandoned ass places. Hopefully we can get visit. I only have one GoPro battery. I'm Fuck me for fucking bringing one. I should have just brought two and kept one in my pocket, in my jacket. But we'll make do. I'm trying not gonna. I'm trying not gonna. Uh, I'm gonna save pretty much the fucking battery until I get to uh, like some dope places, not just riding around. Bank, like, yo, look at that white flower. Like fucking cool, man. That's the Japanese Peruvian pup pepper. But yeah. So I think I'm officially entering the fucking Amazon rainforest. But seriously, I really hope it doesn't rain out because if you can see, it's like overcast out. I mean. I have a what this jacket supposedly waterproof, but my pants will get fucking soaked and I don't like riding in the rain because when I took my MSF course on base to get my license The second day it was just pouring rain all fucking day and I was just soaked and cold and they were like Do you want to come over and like do it again tomorrow since it's not raining? I'm just like fuck no what Bike is that? Like some cyborg shit, but uh, well I have the iPhone 7 so supposedly it's waterproof So I guess we're gonna find out if it's waterproof if it rains. Hopefully it doesn't rain, but yeah I still have to poop. It is pretty windy up here Hopefully it's not a storm coming up, because up in the mountains, I really hope there's a place for me to sit and hide from the storm if it happens. But this is crazy, like we're high up kind of right now, holy shit. Like look at these fucking hills up here. Dude, I just want to go where that tree line is and just chill up there. Ooh, a tunnel, oh damn, thought it was something long. That's, this is crazy. Raindrop did just hit my face before, I'm not, I really don't give a shit if it rains. I've seen so many motorcyclists on this road, and this place is notorious to ride bikes and shit. So I'm kind of really fucking stoked to finally come out of here. I just hope the weather holds up. Because I'm not trying to make some twisty and turnies when I'm fucking on my bike and just fucking slide on this thing. It's got frame sliders, I got armor on, but I don't want to fucking go down today. Forever. This is why I want a drone. I'm putting money aside. I got a lot of shit coming up soon. I got a lot of stuff I got to be spending money on though. But... In the next few months, two, three months, hopefully I'm gonna buy a fucking drone. So when I come out of here, I can have it in my backpack and then just uh, have it in my backpack and then just be able to fucking pull over and throw a drone up here and capture this beautiful fucking landscape. That guy was nice enough to uh, wave us on, let him go in front of him because we're on bikes, which is nice. This place is crazy. It's got so many drops and shit. Like, there's a lot of things that could go wrong up here if you were really dumb and just said, hey, I got this and just whipped into turns. Like, I, I don't want to smack a bicyclist or or this fucking really expensive Tesla or whatever the fuck that was. That's what you don't want to do. It feels like I'm in, like, Vermont in the United States. If any of you know about Vermont, it's like a really rural fucking area in the mountains. It's, I feel like it's where I am right now. It's really nice, man. I feel like I'm gonna be fucking uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes or something. Like, I'm gonna see Caesars fucking swinging across the fucking trees over here. This is so sick, though. I think I'm in like second gear this whole way. There's no way, there's no room to like gallop, you know, like fucking fly. 
Because, like, you hit one of these cables, you go eject it off your bike, you're free falling. God knows how fucking far down. God damn, I just thought about that. Like, literally, you eat shit to these cables, there's that fucking two, three hundred foot drop. Goodbye. Few ropes right here. Go nice and slow. My ass is so hot right now. Jesus, blindside. This road's crazy, but it's so nice. You can walk up those stairs, like where do those go? Like come on, like look at that fucking like castle or rocks or the fuck it is. Like I need a drone, I need a drone. So if you guys are saying, yo, get a drone, this would have been sick, I'm getting a drone. Just, just please, I don't make that much money. I lost eyes on my friend behind me. Hopefully he didn't smack the cables and free fall somewhere. 3.3 kilometers to my drop pin. Oh, he's behind me, we're good. Oh. so fucking cold in this tunnel, holy shit. It feels like I'm in like air conditioning around now, this is dope. Oh, it's so nice. My bike's probably like, thank God for cold air. This is sick. My fucking mirror. You remember, if you guys have been with me since I first started making motovlogs in Japan, you know my mirror uh, was fucked up for a while. Like, ever, if I went over like 100 miles an hour, my, wind, my mirror would blow back. So I tightened it, it was good. And then I took all the mirrors off again when I got new fairings and was working on my bike. And I guess I didn't tighten it, or the person who installed them didn't tighten them hard enough because now they blow back. Or the right one only does. It's pain in the ass. Hopefully it's not stripped because that would be really gay. When in doubt, I hear his bike. Gotta be, yeah, this is why, like, I'm not going, like, that's why I'm only staying in first and second right now, is because these turns are crazy, and this is a two-way street, but it looks like it should be a one-way, you know? My shit's fogging up. The fucking view up here is just amazing. Like, I've said it a million times. You're probably like, shut up, but who's this? Oh, she's like 80. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> this is crazy. I'd, honestly, I would love to have a house out here. Right in the hills and the mountains, away from everyone. I would never fucking kick a kick up. Only problem I have is second gear. Like from first, skipping through neutral into second, I don't kick up hard enough sometimes. So I hit neutral and I just rev by myself. I'm like, God damn it. I'm going to say it one more time. And this is it for the last time. If I had a fucking drone right now, this would be the place to get the most insane fucking footage. Just let you know, I'll be back to this place with the drone. Don't worry. The pin was back there, but like nothing was really there, and like they were just making us go that way. So I don't know what uh, where uh, this leads to. My fucking ass is hot right now. Like, is this seat getting hot from the engine? Like, it's crazy. I guess there's construction. I don't even know. Like, are these cops or just construction? Look how high that fucking cliff is. Imagine going up there. Imagine rock climbing up there. Okay. 
fucking amazing, man. It's crazy. How far does this cave go? Crazy map. Dude, are you that cold? This is crazy. The, bar the barracks are gonna be like next week. <laughs> nice and cold. Dude, it's like a sauna in there now. It's like a fucking sauna, yes. I got through I woke up sweating. I was like, fuck this. Yo, the air conditioning kicks off. Kicks off. You know what I mean? It goes on, it goes on May 15th. Oh, I'm gonna have water. This is crazy. I wonder if I have cell phone service down here. No. Nope. We're fucked if this thing collapses. Doesn't help being like six foot in this cave. <laughs> you gotta crawl. Oh, fuck yeah. This would be my son. No, I don't. Don't worry about that. Oh, it's a good thing it wasn't leg day. <laughs> Dude. I know. I'm trying not to slip. That's what I'm trying not to do. Now think about doing this with a baby on your back. Why would you bring a baby up here? So I mounted it and then uh, G was carrying somebody. Get my cardio in for Sunday. Today was supposed to be a rest day. I'm so coming in here when we get nuked by North Korea. <laughs> this is the place to be. Hey, normal stairs. Jurassic Park. Do you remember that part with the cage? Jurassic Park, yeah. They're walking through the bridge and there's like this cage fence. Yeah. The pterodactyl's just like right above you. Where does this go? There's a big drop below us. Should have brought like a headpiece or something, or a chest mount. Chest mount? Yeah. I got one. With you? No. I've. And I've got a headband. No. I recorded on the way up here. It's enough. I'm just gonna listen to music on the way up. Way back. So yeah, through all these like tight spots, just think about having a baby strapped to your back. This is like the coolest part. If there was an earthquake, we'd probably be fucked. I mean, this thing would probably hold up. But... All right, guys, so that is about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's very different what I'm doing, and I'm definitely coming back out here. Uh, hopefully, I'm not screaming too loud because I'm listening to music right now. But heading back to the base right now before it gets dark out, and it looks like it's going to rain. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys made it this far, I want you to type in cave in the comments because we just explored some crazy-ass cave. I'll catch you guys on Wednesday.